Yeah, you know, I think uh, both teams, a little bit of struggle in the, in the first period. Uh, you know, I think we saw a little bit of summer legs going on at the start there, but uh, after the first period, <coughs> We, uh, we really picked it up, I think, and really gelled together as a team. Guys were really uh, talking to the bench, making it easy, and uh, yeah, it was just fun to get back out there and get in game action, play against opponents instead of you know your own guys, so it was fun. Tell me about that first goal. Uh, how many whacks did it take before a funny one? It took me a couple, yeah. You know, it was just a great all-around forecheck. Um, lucky enough, Granny uh, intercepted it, so I didn't have to bash it all the way. I was kind of last man, so it made it easy. And then uh, I was just kind of sneaking behind the D-man there. Granny shot it, and I got a stick on it. And then I heard Frills yell, and I was going to give it back to him, but I missed it, and then I'm uh, putting it in, so I'll take it. <laughs> was, uh, was anything said at the first intermission? I guess you guys seemed really different coming out from the second. You guys talk amongst yourselves? Did the Huska say anything? Yeah, I think uh, coach came in and did a great job settling us down. You know, he didn't, uh, wasn't too hard on us. Obviously, you know, we, we did struggle a bit. It was a bit sloppy at the start there, but uh, we just stuck to our game. Um, you know, the, the staples here, work ethic and co compete, and I think that's what we did. And, uh, you know, we got the, we got the job done. What did you think of Gaudreau's goal? Oh, that's uh, that's just Johnny Hockey right there. I guess I, I saw it at uh, well, I, was, I saw it a lot at, uh, at college and stuff. So um, yeah, that's that's just him. He's just an unbelievable player, and when he uh, when he gets a chance, he's going to do some damage to you. So you, you played uh, you used to be the saw a lot of Marcus Granlund last year, but not you didn't play that much with him, though, did you? No, no, I didn't. Um, so nice to have him out there on the line with you. Isn't yeah, I was uh, I was pretty. Pretty pleased to see uh, see him as my sentiment. Uh, he's a he's a great player. He's real gifted uh, hands, and he's just a real smart guy. You know, I just kind of, you know, I've always kind of been a playmaker, but playing with him, it's almost kind of just fi find an open area, and I he's gonna get you the puck. So uh, he just makes it easy. I mean, you know, his, his English is getting better, but you know, he just understands like uh, just the talk. You know, he talks to him, he makes it easy out there. He's actually really uh, really communicative out there. Chattier on the ice than he is off the ice. Yeah, definitely. Actually, he's uh, yeah, he's he's really uh, talking about there. It's nice. He mentioned Ferland a couple times. Can you tell how excited he was to finally be out there and throwing his weight around? Yeah, uh, yeah, he's he was itching. He was really itching to get back at it. I mean, uh, he was coming on strong there in Abbotsford. as actually his landing when he went down. Uh, it was real fun playing with him. He was getting a, getting on a hot streak and. It's real unfortunate, but uh, he's been working really hard. I've heard he's uh, really dedicated himself uh, this summer, and um, I'm really glad to see him back out there.